You may have heard of several aircraft concepts that were planned but never actually produced, but have you heard about the failed light-class business jet that was planned to be revolutionary to the world of business aviation and executive jets? An aircraft concept that was designed to fill the gap between high-performance piston-engine aircraft and twin-engine executive jets now sits abandoned and forgotten in the middle of North Carolina. This is the story of the failed Visionaire VA-10 Vantage Jet. The Visionaire Vantage Jet was the first design concept from the Visionaire Corporation, a company founded in 1988 with the goal to design an aircraft that would fill the gap between piston aircraft and the twin-engine executive jets, with a light business jet powered by one single engine and that was more affordable and efficient than its original competitor, the Cessna Citation Jet. When the concept for the Vantage Jet started, it was planned to, as quoted from the company's president, John Olcott, bring business aviation's higher performance capabilities to a much broader market. At the time the Visionaire Vantage was being developed, it was set to be the world's first ever single-engine business jet that could cruise over 400 miles per hour at an altitude up to 41,000 feet and could hold up to five passengers and one pilot with executive class comfort. Bert Rutan, a now-retired American aerospace engineer and entrepreneur, was the head of design for the Vantage jet. The design of the Vantage jet consisted of one Pratt & Whitney Canada JT-15D turbofan tucked away in the rear of the fuselage that was then fed by twin air inlets above the fuselage almost resembling two engines. The aircraft was also designed with its wings forward swept to reduce drag and allow unobstructed views from the cabin by mounting the wings behind the cabin. And finally, after years of design, development, and funding, the very first prototype of the Visionaire VA-10 Vantage Jet under the registration number November 247 Victor Alpha had its main in flight on the morning of November 16, 1996 from the Mojave Air and Space Port in Mojave, California. The Vantage Jet was planned to sell for just over $2 million, which was fairly cheap compared to the nearly $4 million for the Cessna Citation Jet in addition to the doubled operating costs for the twin-engine Cessna Citation, making the Vantage a much more affordable option to companies which needed a business jet but couldn't afford to buy and operate twin-engine jets. The Vantage Jet was on its way to be one of the most successful business jets in the industry, with over 140 orders placed before the first prototype even took off. But what happened to what seemed like one of the best business jets on the market? It was after the maiden flight that problems began to emerge with the Vantage. Flight testing revealed several handling and aerodynamic problems, which ultimately resulted in the redesign of the aircraft in December of 1998, over two years after their aircraft took its first flight. This obviously was a major delay for the Vantage Corporation, and the competition with the Cessna Citation Jet was already winning over the original buyers for the Vantage and its supporters. But the delays for the jet continued, and over six years after the jet took its first flight in January of 2003, with the company already having spent $110 million on the project, owing $35 million and requiring another $125 million to even complete certification, a federal judge ordered Visionaire liquidated to pay its debts and sold the company to Aviation, another newer corporation with similar plans like Visionaire had. After the purchase of the Vantage project by Aviation Jets, the company underwent a complete redesign of the Visionaire Vantage Jet and proposed the concept of a completely new aircraft, the EV-20, which consisted of a twin-engine aircraft with two Williams turbofan engines, a cruising speed of 488 miles per hour at 36,000 feet, a range of 1,300 nautical miles, and could hold 8 to 10 passengers. But this obviously completely went against the original design and purpose of the Vantage Jet. Well, later on, during the redesign of the Vantage Jet from a single engine to a twin engine aircraft, this proved to be very troublesome for the Aviation Corporation, and the company failed to progress with the development of the new aircraft. And in 2012, the EV-20 was repurchased by Visionaire, and the aircraft's design was returned to a single engine configuration. Visionaire later stated in early 2013 that they planned to construct the Vantage Jet in a factory at New in North Carolina, with the prototype scheduled to fly in 2014. However, at the end of 2015, no further progress has been announced, and the last update of the company's website is dated to March of 2013. And since then, it seems like the company and corporation has pretty much vanished, and there has been nothing mentioned about the Visionaire Corporation since. So what happened to Visionaire's only prototype that these companies seem to have forgotten about in the fight over who will produce a plane that is now currently 30 years overdue? The original, first, and only prototype ever produced of the Visionaire VA-10 Vantage Jet that was once the dream and year's work of everyone involved in the Visionaire Corporation now sits abandoned in a field at Hickory Regional Airport in Hickory, North Carolina. And unfortunately, I really don't know how exactly this aircraft and even the Visionaire Corporation ended up in Hickory, North Carolina. It may have been the fact that Aviation Jets was based in Hickory, so Visionaire decided to stay in the area. And after doing some research, it seems that Hickory Regional Airport is supposedly the company's current and latest facility, and most likely had the jet flown here in 2012 after Visionaire purchased it from Aviation. 
So what is the current status of the Vantage Jet prototype? Well, looking on historical imagery on Google Maps, I was able to see that the aircraft was first visible outside of several hangars on the west side of the airport in 2015 and remained in that location until late 2022 when the aircraft was moved to a small field towards the far north side of the airport, where its location then became known and the aircraft could be seen from the road. The summer of 2023 was when I saw the aircraft for the first time and the poor state it was in. The aircraft had a visible mold and mildew growing all over the fuselage and appeared that the landing gear wasn't even down, almost as if it was just thrown in the spot to rot away. Unfortunately, I have not gone to Hickory Regional Airport recently to see the current status of the aircraft, but while looking at the updated Google Maps view from earlier this month, it is clearly visible that the aircraft had its wings removed. There is a slight possibility that the aircraft might be preparing for transport, but considering the condition the aircraft is in, it's most likely that the aircraft is being scrapped. And if this is true, then it seems to mark the final end of the Visionaire Corporation in what was once the dream of the company and its supporters to bring a revolutionary aircraft to the world of business aviation and executive jets, and is now nothing more than a distant memory of the failed project for a light single-engine business jet. I will try to post updates on this aircraft in the future and the next time I go to Hickory Regional Airport. Those updates and pictures will be posted in the community section of my channel. For those who are in the Hickory area and want to see if this aircraft is still there, head over to the Hickory Regional Airport and continue down 9th Avenue Drive Northwest where you will see a short gravel road that leads into the airport property. Pull off the main road just to the entrance of the gravel road and you will have a clear view of the Vantage Jet if it is still there. Well, that concludes the history of the Visionaire VA-10 Vantage Jet, and as someone who really enjoys the history of aviation, it really is sad seeing this historical aircraft that would have been the first ever single-engine business jet simply running away in a field at one of my local airports. I was really hoping that the airport would incorporate the Vantage Jet into the Hickory Aviation Museum, but considering the fact that they scrapped a FedEx aircraft they had and told me they want to keep it just as a military aviation museum, it is very unlikely. So right now, we can only hope that there might be a hopeful future for the Vantage Jet and that it might be preserved somewhere, but it still is very likely that the aircraft will just be scrapped. So I hope you all enjoyed this video and learned about the history of this very interesting aircraft. When I first found out about the Vantage Jet at one of my local airports, I really felt like it deserved to have its story told before it's gone forever, and I'm really glad I was able to do that. So if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and comment what your thoughts are on this aircraft, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. What's amazing, though, is that the market began to see the value and believe in the concept before the first prototype was ever built.